Hello my dear students, welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Engineering Survey. Today I am going to explain you the parts of the theodolite. Right? Last time you learned how to measure a horizontal angle and how to measure a vertical angle using a digital model. Right, I will start from the tripod. Right? So as you see, here, this part where you push the tripod leg down firmly, this part is called the tripod shoe. This part is called the butterfly screw. It is used to tighten and loose tripod leg. So if you lose this tripod leg, you can extend the tripod leg easily. And once you have extended the tripod leg up to the required level, you can fix the leg using this butterfly screw right and this part is called the tripod head and it is flat and have this shape of a triangle then we'll come to the screw this is called the tripod screw which fixes the theodolite to the tripod, right? It can be used to fix the tripod with the theodolite. Now, we'll come to the theodolite, right? This part is called the trivet. And these are called three foot screws. These are used to level these bubbles, right? There are two bubbles in the theodolite. This is called the plate bubble. If you come from other side, you will see another bubble here. It is called the bullseye bubble or the pond bubble. To level this bull bullseye bubble, pond bubble, you can use these three foot screws right this is called the digital display of the theodolite it displays you the vertical angles and the horizontal angles so vertical angles are displayed here the horizontal angles are displayed at the bottom and the battery level as well And this is very, very important. This is called the optical plummet. This optical plummet is used to fix the theodolite exactly over the peg, right? Now this is peg O. This theodolite has been fixed exactly over the peg O with the help of this optical plummet, right? If you keep your eye here and see, you will notice that peg O is exactly under the theodolite right and this is called the carrying handle and this can be used to carry the theodolite from one place to another place right the most important part of this theodolite is the battery compartment without this you cannot work right so four batteries are there I will explain the other parts while explaining how to focus to an object, right? So now what I need to do is I need to target to that point A, right? For that I have to turn or rotate the entire upper plate, so we call it upper part of the theodolite, about the instrument axis, right? So I turn it like this. right then i need to target to point b right so finding the point a like this is not going to work right because you haven't target to the 
point A, right? Therefore, first what you need to do is you need to target the telescope to point A, right? For that, you can use this part. It is called the gun sight, right? Inside the gun sight, you can see a small triangle. You have to target that triangle head to the head of the dummy, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just like a sniper, right? I'm targeting it to the head of the dummy, right? Then, I have already targeted it to the head of the dummy, right? So now I'm going to see the object, right? But, it rotates about the instrument axis, right? So once I targeted to the object, right? I need to lock the rotation. For that, there's a special screw called clamping screw. Once you turn it forward, right? Once you turn it forward, you cannot rotate. You cannot rotate the instrument. Not the instrument axis. In the gun side, I target to point A, and then I lock, right? You can come over there and see how I lock it, right? So now I lock it, right? This inside screw is called the clamping screw. This is called horizontal clamping screw because it stops the rotation in the horizontal plane. It, then, what I need to do is I need to focus the plumb line or the string, right? For that, I have to use this object focusing screw. This is called the object focusing screw, right? In this object focusing screw, I focus the plumb line, right? Then, even when I keep my eye, right, you see the telescope moves, right? Telescope moves about the Trunian axis. So what we need to do is lock the rotation about the Trunian axis, right? So therefore, we need to lock the rotation about the Trunian axis. For that, we can use this vertical clamping screw, right? Soon after we have targeted to the required level, right? We can lock this, right? This is called the vertical clamping screw, right? Because it restricts the vertical moment. Right, the moments in the vertical plane it is called vertical moment clamping screw. Right. Then, now when you look at this, now you can see the plumb line is slightly outside the crosshairs. Right, plumb line is slightly outside the crosshairs, therefore, you need to bring the crosshairs back to the plumb line. For that, you need to do fine adjustments. Now since the horizontal moment is restricted using the horizontal clamping screw, right? You need to use another screw for fine adjustments, right? So see outside this horizontal clamping screw, there is a, another screw, right? There is another screw called tangent screw. This is called horizontal tangent screw, right? Now, now if you carefully see you will notice that instrument moves slightly when you turn this tangent screw, right? So I slightly turn the tangent screw and bring the string back to the target, right? So the tangent screw is used for fine adjustments. Therefore, it is also known as the fine adjustment screw, right? And here, in the vertical plane also, there is a fine adjustment screw to do fine adjustments, right? So this is called vertical tangent screw, right? It is also outside the clamping screw, right? The clamping screw is this, this is the tangent screw, right? And place where we keep our eye, it is called the eyepiece, right? In the eyepiece also, there is a focusing screw just to focus the crosshairs inside the telescope, right? 
There are crosshairs inside the telescope. To focus that, we have the crosshairs focusing screw. It is near to your eye, right? Come over there. I will show you the objective lens, right? So telescope has several parts, right? The most important part is this object lens, right? This is called the objective lens, right? Objective lens is there, gun sight is there. Then this is object focusing screw. In the other side, you have crosshair focusing screw. And where you keep your eye is eyepiece, right? Now I have already explained almost all the parts of the theory line, right? So in the next day, I will explain the transformation of the theory light from the oldest one to the modest one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next is theory light part three. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos.